Yeah. 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 Pulled up on a up block, hit the opposition with the chopper, slide off like the chopper. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on the button, for watching this video. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe, staying quarantined as usual. Uh, I'm trying to keep that quarantine body right, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But anyways, guys, um, back here with a new project for the 5 Series. Um, as you can see, the beast is parked outside, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's looking lovely. Isn't she lovely? All right, enough of that, guys. Um, so I got a special thing that came from ECS Tuning. Um, shout out to ECS Tuning for helping me out. Um, at the beginning, I ordered this part. Had a little complications um, getting the part from P3. Uh, uh, miscommunication at the beginning. Um, Adam from ECS Tuning. Shout out to you, Adam. Came in for the clutch. Got the part out. Got it ready and here at my door. As the t as the day that for the day that I agreed, so shout out to you, Adam. Um, this part, I think that all turbo supercharged, any boosted cars, I think need this. Um, surprised that a lot of a lot more people don't have it. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about, guys. Right, so here we have um, from P3 uh, the gauge for specifically for the F10. Um, I got it specifically for the F10. Um, I think they all come specific for the cars. And I'm so sorry guys, I couldn't do the whole unboxing thing with you because I'm a human being and I need to see if my stuff is correct before I um, move forward. So I opened this yesterday and here's what's inside. All right, uh, let's see if we can get this. Um, this is just uh, instructions. Who is that? Um, let's open it up. And I opted out for the um, gauge built into my vent already. Just because I'm a lazy prick and I don't feel like doing it. But they do have the ones that just the, um, just the digital gauge itself and you put it into your factory vent. Uh, let me get this focus. All right. Yep, here we go. Oh, nicey, nicey. I wrapped the wires up that way. They did a better job. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw this bad boy in and it's a full, full plug and pay. Blah, blah, blah. Plug and play. What the heck is pay? Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I don't think you really need this, but I'm going to show you guys anyway how to do it. And we'll see what features it have, what it does. Take it for a spin. All right, let's go. Guys, so here we are at the car. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be popping this bad boy out. Boop. Popping this bad boy off. Boop. And two screws here. Remove the vent. Oh, the sunlight is crazy. It's beautiful today. We're going to pop this old vent out. Um, pop the new one in, run the wires down, plugs directly into your OBD2, and tidy it up. So let's start. All right, guys, you're right here by the car here. Um, everything that comes in the box, um, this is the control box. Right, we're gonna use this. All this stuff is gonna be plugged in after. This is the wire. That's gonna go to the ECU, All right? Right here. And a sick decal. P3. All right. So first thing we're gonna do, take our little pry bar and try to get off this um, control for the light. off pretty easy. Unplug, unplug the switch for the light switch. 
Kelly, body hot like the summer. I'ma let you get on top cause you top notch. I you me want with me and I'm in trap top. You side. just got a body done at the trap. Here we have the two torque screw I was telling you about. Let me find out what size this is. Oh, while we're here, let's take this and pop it off. Careful not to break these now. You know how these parts are. Alright guys, just clips that hold these things in. Alright, put this down to the side. Here I have a torque screw set that I got from Harbor Freight, nothing crazy. Let's try to find the one that works and let's get to it. Torque works for this, all right? This one's fighting me. Let me try to get this out and I'll come back for you. Alright guys, I was able to get the vent out. What you have to do, you have to reach in the back. From the back of this and push these two things down. Push them down so that the vent will be able to come out. If you try to pull it straight, this is blocking the vent from coming out. So push your hand in the back. Find these two tabs push them down pull out all right so the old vent is out now if you if you didn't buy this if you didn't want to buy the whole um if you didn't want to buy the whole con uh, console with it built in already you can just buy the buy the part and hold on one second you guys you can just buy the part take this apart the little clips right here let me see it clips there's four clips here and here you just literally lift the tabs up the clips the tabs and this whole front piece comes off then you will slide the first two grooves out and you will slide the digital part in and put it back together simple enough guys I'm not gonna lie to you I'm just lazy <laughs> um, excuse the hat it's, it's a quarantine wear right now 70 degrees outside I gotta have them. I don't care um, so old vent is out let's put the let's get the wiring done first and then we'll put the vent in all right um have a wire harness that sits in the back that you have to unplug I'm not sure what it does electronically control the vents I'm not sure but I've seen some m5s have it maybe 550 have it um, anybody that's balling I didn't get that package I'm sorry so no 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 wire harness to unplug just the vent comes right out the good thing when you buy the harness, when you buy this with them, with the P3 um, digital gauge already built in, they kind of do, they like solder or glue the wire harness here so it doesn't come out. So it's pretty neat. And they have a black tape covering so that it doesn't burn or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take this and snake it down, to, sneak it to the back. Um, and then get the wires and run it down, all right? All right, guys, got the wires ran. Only thing left is just, everything is plugged in. Everything is run down here. Only thing left is just uh, the box 
and extra wire, you know, the extra wires. I'm gonna zip tie this all together here, and then I'm gonna see if I can two-way sticky tape it right back here. And yeah, let me show you guys a closer look of how I ran this. All right, guys, and give you a close up and personal oh, focus. Okay, all right, guys. So the vent, the uh, vent gauge is sitting in here. Um, what I did, I took this wire here. Oh, I took this wire here, and I just ran it alongside here all the way down, and snake it. Oh, sorry, guys, and snake it underneath, and plugged it into the OBD2. So once this. Let me zoom out because I'm too close. Once this is tucked in back there and the cover is on, you won't see any wires. All right, so I just took the wire and snaked it down alongside here to plug it in here. Um, I saw back in like, I don't know, 2012, 2013, when this was, you know, originally came out, there was a huge box. The box was a lot larger than this. So now it's just a little cute box that you can just tuck back there. And once it's tucked back there, I'll put everything back, screw the two bolts, uh, torques, um, screw back in, put the light back in. You guys should know how to do that, right? I just reverse order, literally. I'll zip tie this, put that back there, put that in, and I'll show you guys the finished product after. Show you guys the option and why not take it for a spin and see how good this thing works. Alright, see you guys when we come back. But look how clean that looks, man. And I wanted to wait for you guys so we could do this together. This is a big moment. I don't usually do this. So let's, uh, let's peel this sticker off together, shall we? Alrighty then. Whew, that looks clean very stock I didn't want any gauges coming down the side on my panels oh guys before I even do let's 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 take a minute to admire that uh that steering wheel real quick right jeez the carbon fiber though and the gauge all right guys let's start it make sure everything works we have power so this shows coolant. This is speed. This is battery voltage. Uh, didn't see what that said. Sorry about that. Go back. This is uh, some other type of temperature. Uh, another type of temperature. Ignition timing, here we go. Ignition timing here. Um, didn't see what that said. AFRs. Oil temperature. Zero to 60. This is pretty cool. This, if you want to do a zero to 60, you set it to this. Once you start driving and you hit 60 miles an hour, it tells you how long it took you to get there this right here is a cool feature I liked about that and this is boost <sighs> guys it's on we did it let's see yep it seems to move we she's coming along guys ladies and gentlemen she is coming along yo thank you so much to everyone every one of you that subscribe that send me comments likes DMs guys I really really appreciate you guys man like this is crazy when you have a new YouTube and trying to build it's tough you're gonna get a lot of haters you're gonna get a lot of people that respect you a lot of people that don't respect you it's a teaching moment guys whether you're building a YouTube channel or you're building your car just for you I don't care if you have a 320 328 520 528 get a diesel I don't care if you have a spaceship whatever you get you make it your own you don't get anything for someone else gratification no I don't need that you do it because you want to do it you do it because you love it all right people question oh why did you get this why didn't you get that because I felt like it right I have a daily Honda Accord and I love it 
I love Accords. I love BMWs. I love cars, period. My wife has a Benz. I love cars in general. I would never turn to the next person and ask them why they got something. Who are you? Message? People are crazy, guys. Let's take this ride. All right, guys. Uh, let's give it a punch. Boost gauge read really fast. Guys, boost gauge was installed, working flawlessly. She's looking really good, running really good. If you like that boost gauge, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Comment that you like it. Also, guys, I will be selecting the person for that um, carbon fiber overlay. Overlay. I apologize, I didn't get to do it um, now, but I will. Get, I will do it uh, next week. Uh, maybe before. I'll post it up on my IG. Um, I do the people picker. I'll probably put a video on my IG and I'll select the person there. So make sure you follow me on IG. All right, guys. Um, I'll put my IG name in the link in the description below and some way up here all right guys guys thank you again always thank you so much guys for showing support thank you for giving love on the car and the build um next week i will be showing the m3 i have some stuff um but until then guys stay safe stay quarantined you guys stay healthy see you guys Guys, I'm bringing her back. For anyone that joined the channel because of the M3, I apologize. I apologize. But let me just give you a quick update really fast. Ah, new steering wheel, M5 shifter. You already know. I'm going to do probably a breakdown on this car. If anyone was here for my m3 contents my baby right here too also i did i did a chrome delete but i'll show you guys we'll see later yeah pulled up on a op block hit the opposition with the chopper slide off like the cha-cha when the feds come we don't opla young rich and i'm handsome